arrival. God damn, Amy Adams got a thing for aliens, huh? I see him coming, I see him go, still I remain One of the illest to ever step up in this game But now I see that some of y'all want a piece of me So it's time for me to step up from behind the scenes You can't test my work great, it's time to make way Imitate a space, step aside, it's time for payday What's going on people, it's your boy Brass Tax in this bitch, you already know New subscribers, welcome You fucked up around here, but fuck all that Let's talk about how I do these reviews in this bitch. Broken down into three parts. Part one, I talk about the movie, spoiler free, where I will just give you a brief plot summary of the movie and give you my general thoughts about that bitch. Part two, I will go balls deep. And when I mean balls deep, I mean get a chance for pregnant in this bitch. Serious balls deep action. Serious, serious balls deep action. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna give you the most in-depth review of a transfer you ever seen on YouTube. This is the measuring stick. Part three, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this bitch. Let's talk about the movie. Basically, Amy Adams plays this linguist. She is asked to help out because aliens done landed in spacecrafts in this bitch and she's trying to communicate with these bad boys. You know, Independence Day, you know when you see the spaceship initially, before they attack, Amy Adams is there in between you seeing those mofos and them attacking us. She's the one in between trying to communicate with these mofos. What happens next can be quite a confusing affair. Now, if you are watching this while you're drunk or you're half watching it whilst you're doing other shit, there is a 100% chance that you're going to be halfway through this bitch thinking, what the fuck is going on? Because this movie jumps around a lot. See, these aliens themselves, they have special ways of communicating. And that is actually shown throughout the movie, kind of from their perspective a little, how they operate, because this movie really is about communication. Really, it's about time. So once you understand that going into this movie, you will appreciate the movie a lot more. I like the movie, same director as Sakari and everything, so you know the cinematography and the way the movie shot looks A1 in this bitch. Looks Beautiful. You're already in for a visual treat, okay? This movie won a ton of accolades and stuff, and I understand why it did, because it is a very smart movie, and it really does make you think. It's one of those movies I watched, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. I want to watch it again, because once you kind of get an idea of how this movie is doing what it's doing, you'll want to watch it again, and you will probably see it from a totally different perspective. It's a smart alien movie. It's an arty kind of alien movie. Do I recommend it? Yes. But if you're going in there expecting Independence Day 2.5 or 3, this is not what this movie is. But if it's marketed as an alien invasion, which it is, it really isn't. The movie really isn't about that. I recommend you watch it, but I recommend you watch it with your, with your thinking caps on. It's a good one. If you can really watch it and understand it, you'll really appreciate the craftsmanship. Very, very clever. I highly recommend it. It's a great movie. I'm not a big fan of Amy Adams. I don't know what it is about her, but she irritates me. I watch Nocturnal Animals and I hate her even more after that bitch. There's something about her I don't like. It's nothing personal, I just don't like. There's something about her, I don't know what it is. But she acted very well in this. That's all I gotta say about it. You gotta watch this movie. You gotta watch this movie. It's a good movie. Shot in 2.8K. Visual effects rendered at 2K. Digital intermediate. 2K, upscale to 4. DTS 7.1 Master Audio. This is not gonna blow your socks off, people. The transfer overall is quite disappointing, to say the least. I was expecting another Sicario. In certain close-ups, you definitely see a little more detail, you do. You see a little more detail in certain things, clothing, textures, close-up of faces, you do see a bit more detail, but it's minimal. You know, I would normally say subtle, but this shit minimal as a mofo. This is, this is not even subtle. This shit minimal as a mofo. The movie's quite muted as it is anyway. And you do know it's a slight, slight wider color, but it's, you can miss it. You can miss it. It's, it's just certain things that stand out. With me, I notice things probably a lot more because sometimes I skip through the Blu-ray parts again to refresh my memory. Then I switch the, the 4K on. So the 1080p transfer is fresh in my memory. Flesh tones are very natural looking. But like I said, the color's muted. I did see some scenes where it was a little vibrant in parts, but you know, it's nothing major. The The black levels were very good in this one because the aliens, when uh, Amy Adams is communicating with the aliens, uh, it's a very dark atmosphere and the aliens are pretty much dark as a motherfucker, yeah? So in that respect, 
uh, you do see a little more detail in that and you can make things out, but it's not mind-blowing at all. Remember, this movie is shot very well. Very, very nice shots. There's nice landscapes. There are nice wide shots in this. You would watch the Blu-ray and say, wow, there are some actually very picturesque images on this speech. But the thing is, the, the 4K doesn't really take advantage of it. Although there is some depth, there is depth. You do notice a bit more depth. It's not gonna blow you away, guys, I'm sorry. I noticed a little bit of banding in some areas, in the sky and just some scenes, but don't quote me on that. I need to check it on both players. It could just be my TV glitching. I don't know. CGI looked decent for the most part. I couldn't fault it. I didn't see anything which really stood out because whenever there really is CGI, it's kind of in the shadows type situation. So it's not really in your face. You're not gonna really notice. Even if it is looking suspect, I don't think you're really gonna notice it with this, with this transfer. So in that respect, that's a plus. That's pretty much all I got to say about the transfer, guys. Fucking disappointed with this one. This is a really good movie. Really fucking let down by a shitty transfer. A 1080p upscale may look just as good in this bitch. I really, I really wasn't blown away by it. It's not as bad as Born Identity. There are some improvements here and there. It's not gonna offer you much more. You're gonna watch it, you're gonna feel disappointed because of the way the movie shot. If you watched it in 1080p or you watched it in the theaters, you're expecting greatness from this bitch. You're gonna be let down. I don't know what else to say. Is it worth paying full price? If you're gonna pick up the Blu-ray anyway, spend an extra 10 bucks, pick up the 4K, that's up to you. Or if you've already seen the movie, I would wait for it to drop in price. I really would, because there is not much really wow going on with this transfer at all. And it's a shame because it's a fucking awesome movie. A really thought-provoking movie. And it's a shame for me to say this, but it is what it is, guys. That's pretty much it, guys. That's really all I got to say about the, uh, the arrival. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And if you did, please hit the like button and definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already. I love you guys. I'm going to catch you guys soon. Take care. I see him coming, I see him go, still I remain One of the illest to ever step up in this game But now I see that some of y'all want a piece of me So it's time for me to step up from behind the scenes You can't test my work great, it's time to make way if